Hi, welcome to my channel, Arroyo JK Tinkering Division, and uh, this is my third arcade or pinball I've made. I wanted to implement a coin accepting unit into this one as well. Um, I'm using a different type of circuitry, which is this is what I used before. Came, comes with the buttons. It's a uh, uh, button interface system from Asia, but now I switched to the to the iPack iPack 2 system, which is uh, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I just uh, saw it online and uh, let's say let's give it a try. Why not? It's uh, more they're more advanced. So I got the quarters. I programmed it. It's pretty pretty easy to do. Um, I made a video about this because uh, I was looking of ways to interface the coin acceptor with the iPad board, which uh, I could not find anywhere online, YouTube videos, nowhere, no, nowhere it said how to interface them. And I had to do some research myself, do experimenting, and I finally figured out how, how to make it work. Not the conventional way, but it does work. So this are two quarters, and I'm gonna show you that it does accept. To start, press any key. Okay. Where's the any key? Alright, where's the any key? I'll show you. There you go. Check it out! And that's a two player game, two quarters, works perfect. And uh, I will get into it and how I did this. So, so you guys can figure it out yourself. This is not a tutorial, I'm just showing you how I did it. Um, I'm not responsible for anybody that wants to do this and ends up learning any circuit things, hurting themselves. Hurting themselves. Uh, because uh, that's that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just showing you how I did it. I'm not responsible for any, anybody that does decide to do this. This is not a tutorial. I'm just trying to help people out. So if you're, uh, without any further ado, let's, uh, I'm going to show you how I did it. Here's my coin acceptor, the outside or the, uh, the, front, the front facing. And there you can see the counter and the specifications. Okay. All right, this is the power. The red one is the power. The black one, the black one is the ground. And these, these two are connected to a 12 volt power supply that I have, have up there. I have to connect an external 12 volt power supply. I'm using that one. I can use a smaller one later on, but just just for um, purposes of designing and, and testing testing the uh, equipment. This this is a signal, the signal wire, which is the white one, and. Um, Usually this would be connected to to the uh, to the buttons to the decoder. So that would be connected to the decoder. Um, one of these I don't remember, but um, it's going to be I think this one and a ground. But I, but that wouldn't work in this case. So these are the two. These are the two um, counter counter wires. Um, if you can see right here, right counter, and then you got the ground, which is the black. The coin, which is the white one. And the 12 volt, which is the red. But I'm not using the coin because I can't. I can't. I can't do it. It doesn't work. <sighs> okay, so the two, the two gray ones are connected. I mean, I had I had to uh, put extra wire so it, it it reaches. But um, it's connected to this wire. <sighs> and right here. I will show you, I'm going to have to take this apart, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's a circuit I came up with. I'm using, this is an old 
an old type of uh, relay. I had this for for many years in my uh, little storage boxes for electronics. This type of relay, it has a connection for power, and it only has uh, two connections for for the load. There's this, uh, this is considered a normally open relay when applied power. It closes the uh, normally open contacts and uh, it just um, act, uh, activates those two cables like if they're like this you put you apply power and it closes the circuit and then therefore you have you have a um, can you continuous circuit or on so um, these two wires they're coming from from the coin coin acceptor these are the uh, counter wires which like I mentioned before, when you you put a, a coin in there, um, these activate. They have, have a slight current on them. I believe it's like three volts, three volts or plus. And they come up to here. They activate the relay. The relay, the relay then activates the contacts. Which these two contacts We've got the red, red and white. They go to the eye pack. Here is a uh, diagram I made of that relay. You got the uh, two input leads that come from um, from power from the power from the um, uh, what do you call those? The uh, counter, the counter output from the uh, coin acceptor. So they're connected here. That's going to be yeah, these two gray wires that get connected to the sides both sides so those are these two then you got the load which only gets energized when you apply power so the load which is the red and the white in this case which are the color of the wires I use one is connected the red wire in this case is connected to to the ground which all the wires come out come out of and then I selected this terminal right here which I programmed as the coin the coin input on the iPad so but the iPad has let's see has a, has a number two coin and number uh, right here somewhere one coin so you can either use one of those two depending on which side you're using so when I input the coin it activates that and uh, it detects there is a coin and it works pretty good so that is the um, the wiring and the process of it um, now I'm going to show you how it actually works.